the good news is that there is no such thing as a negative feeling. And there is no such thing as a low vibrational feeling. And there is no such thing as a bad feeling or an evil feeling um, or a dangerous feeling. These are all things that we've learnt. Uh, these are all concepts, false concepts that we've taken on. That we learnt from our parents, from our teachers, from the media, from even from our spiritual teachers. You know, we learned that some feelings were negative or some feelings were low vibrational and we were supposed to aim to have all positive feelings or be in a high vibration so we could manifest, blah, blah, blah. Um, and these, these are lovely dreams, but if we're interested in truth, if we're interested in the, the raw, unfiltered truth of our experience, we really have to let go of everybody else's um, concepts, ideas, teachings. And we have to find the courage to take a look for ourselves. What is a feeling? What is a feeling? A feeling is energy. Basically, a feeling is energy in the body. And this life energy comes before uh, the mind, comes before mind, comes before thought. Once you have thought, once you have mind, you have the world of duality, you have the world of good and bad, right and wrong, positive, negative, sacred and profane. So here's what happens. Um, there is energy in the body, raw sensation. Thought comes in, mind comes in, labels that sensation, calls it sadness, calls it fear, calls it anger, calls it frustration, calls it confusion, um, calls it guilt, calls it shame. These are all words that we've learned, that we were taught, secondhand words. That's the first layer that we add on to the raw energy. And then the second layer that we add is judgment. Then we, we judge um, the sadness, we judge the anger, we judge the fear. We call it negative, we call it bad, we call it um, evil, If maybe if we had a religious upbringing. We call it uh, low vibration. We say that's a low vibrational feeling, uh, or that this feeling is far from love, it's the opposite of love because we're always thinking in terms of opposites, because that's the mind. Uh, or we call the feeling uh, dangerous. So we label, we judge the feeling. And then the third layer is we look for someone or something to blame. Um, so we, it's like we come away from the raw sensation in the body, the raw life energy, and we start looking for someone or something to blame. What caused this bad feeling, what caused this negative feeling, what caused this uh, low vibrational feeling. So we go off into the past, you know, we blame ourselves, I did something wrong, you know, I'm, I'm not enlightened enough, or uh, I wasn't in the in the vortex or something like that. You know, we, we, we go into our conditioning, all these things that we've learned, basically we, we punish ourselves somehow. I did something wrong, I made a mistake, I'm a failure, that's why I'm feeling this, because I did something wrong, or that's why I'm feeling this, because someone else did something wrong. We blame someone else, looking for causes, we blame God, we blame the universe, we blame the stars, we blame, uh, you know, some past life or something. Um, the mind is always looking for an enemy, the mind is always looking for someone or something to blame. So we get pretty violent, you know, uh, always blaming ourselves. I did something wrong. That's why I'm feeling this negative energy. That's why I'm feeling this uh, this low vibration. I did something wrong. It's just not. It's just not true. It's just not true. We've been shamed in so many ways throughout our lives, and even the the spiritual teachers bless them. You know, I'm not blaming them at all. But uh, often that is part of their teaching. You know that basically we're doing something wrong if, if, if we have a negative feeling or if we have a low vibrational feeling. If we're feeling sad or if we're feeling fear, that must mean, that must mean, now you hear the mind, that must mean that we're far from enlightenment, which is just not true because you can't be far from enlightenment because enlightenment, enlightenment is what you are. Or we must be, we, we must have too much ego or, um, you know, we, we, we didn't worship the guru hard enough or, or, or 
we're being punished somehow because basically there's something wrong with us that's like uh, that's where we go so quickly basically there's something wrong with me that's why i'm feeling this it's just not true so um and i think this is the meaning of, of true meditation true meditation is it's all about finding the courage to strip away all the labels, all the judgments, all this, everything secondhand, everything secondhand, and, and begin again. Be an amateur. Stop being an expert. We know too much. Be an amateur. Begin again. Take a look into your experience. How do I know I'm feeling sad? How do I know I'm feeling angry? How do I know this is fear? So come out of your mind and look into your body. Become aware of what's alive right now in you, the fluttery feelings in your belly or the sense of contraction in your heart area or sensations of pressure in your head. Because really, that's all we're ever actually facing is raw sensation in the body. Raw sensation in the body, plus a story in the mind about the past usually, about the past or future. So the invitation is to come back to your body, become aware of all the sensations, the raw physical sensations alive right now in you. Fluttery sensations, pulsating sensations, hot sensations, cold sensations, sharp sensations, soft sensations, slow moving sensations, fast moving sensations, um, aching sensations, tender sensations. Become really aware of what's actually alive in your body. Because the truth is, raw sensations are never bad or evil or destructive or low vibration. Raw sensations in the belly, in the chest, in the throat, in the head, raw sensations are just a pure life. Pure life. Just like every wave in the ocean is not the opposite of the ocean, is not against the ocean. It's an expression of the ocean. So every sensation in your body, however uncomfortable, however intense, however unexpected, is none other than a movement of life itself. It's not against life. It's not a threat to life. It is life. The fluttery feelings in the belly, the sense of pressure in the head, is a movement of life, like a cloud in the sky, like, like a volcano exploding. You know, it's the same life that was there at the Big Bang. It's the same life that moves as the planets and the stars and the galaxies. It's the same life that falls from the sky as the rain. It's the same life that grows the grass and moves the oceans. That very same life, that same consciousness, that same being, that one being, is moving right now in you as these fluttery sensations in the stomach or uh, these pulsating sensations in the in the shoulders, or you know, these sharp sensations in the in the back, you know, before the mind comes in and labels those sensations and judges those sensations and searches for a cause. Before that mind activity, before that mental activity, all we're ever actually dealing with is um, raw sensation in the body. And raw sensation in the body comes before all these labels. Negative, bad, low vibration, high vibration, sacred, profane, uh, evil. Um, every sensation is, is a movement of, of pure intelligence energy. Of, of, of it, It's part of life's infinite creativity. And that's what we find when we really have the courage to take a look uh, into our bodies and then just allow those sensations to be there that's the key to come out of the mind and its interpretations and its judgments and its uh, fast forwarding and rewinding into past and future and just actually begin to allow it's such a simple teaching really but it's so powerful to allow the fluttery sensations in the stomach without labeling without labeling it as anxiety and then judging that anxiety as bad, something that I need to get rid of, something I should be free from. That's where we always go with the mind. That's the mind's version of freedom, is how can I be free from this feeling? So the heart, who you truly are, is not interested in being free from. The true freedom is not, is not found 
in that, that movement away? How can it be free from freedom? The mind turns freedom into a destination. The mind turns everything into a destination. True freedom is not a destination. It's actually your nature. So um, be completely aligned with your nature. Give, actually give the fluttery sensations in the belly or the tight sensations in the throat or the, the pressure in the head. Give these sensations their freedom. Be that freedom. Say, hey, sensations, you're free to be here. You know, say, say to the belly, hey, you're, you're free to feel fluttery right now. It's okay. Say to the head, hey, you're free to feel pressured right now. You know, um, just for a moment, stop trying to transform yourself or fix yourself or even heal yourself. And all, all these ideas that we've picked up, like, oh, I have to release this feeling or I have to let go of this feeling, or I have to transform this feeling into a high vibration feeling. These are all um, movements of fear, actually. These are all ways in which we run away from ourselves. These, all these concepts we've picked up. Um, so be what you are, be the space, be the sky. And the fluttery sensations in the belly or the, you know, the... Um, the tight sensations in the, the throat, the pulsating sensations in the in the head, they, these are the weather. So as the sky, you can just very easily and simply, naturally, effortlessly allow this weather to be here. In this moment, we're not talking about forever. There's no such thing as forever. There's no such thing as always. There's no such thing as never. Those are all uh, concepts of the mind. There's only this moment, this alive, moment, this eternal moment. Um, all there ever is actually is, is this moment. And then we, we can even get, a, get rid of the concept of this moment, because there's only this moment, if you see what I mean. Um, so, yeah, the idea that any feeling is inherently negative, or any feeling is inherently bad, or any feeling is inherently sinful, or any feeling is inherently like a low vibration, these are just ideas, and they're ideas that actually make us really unhappy and make us blame ourselves. And, uh, and as I said before, you know, they set up these impossible ideals. Um, so many people that I meet are trying to run from low vibration to high vibration or trying to run from negativity to positivity. But that's almost like the sky trying to run away from the storm. That's like the sky trying to run away from the rain and get to the the sunny day and it calls the sunny day happiness and it calls the rain unhappiness but true happiness is actually knowing yourself as the vastness of the sky itself there's so much room in you as the sky of awareness of consciousness there's enough room in you for the rainy days and there's enough room in you for the sunny days true happiness is knowing how vast you are knowing your capacity how much you can actually hold you don't have to convert negativity to positivity. That doesn't make any sense. You don't have to convert uh, low vibration to high vibration. That doesn't make any sense. Who you truly are is beyond these concepts of low and high, good and bad, positive and negative. Who you are is, is this, this non-dual capacity. Uh, there's enough room for sadness. There's enough room for happiness. There's enough room for confusion. There's enough room for understanding. There's enough room for excitement, there's even enough room for boredom. As awareness, as the sky, as consciousness, you can hold all of it and then you can even get rid of the word awareness, the word consciousness, because even those are just words and you also hold all the words. There's also enough room in you for all the words. So once and for all, can we just get rid of this idea of um, that any feeling is, is negative or any feeling is, is uh, low vibration? It was never true. All feelings are life. All feelings are valid. Uh, all feelings are welcome in what you are. And there's never anything wrong with you. If a feeling is appearing, however painful, however, however uncomfortable, it's not a sign that there's something wrong with you. It's not a sign that you failed. It's not a sign that you've done something wrong. And it's certainly not a sign that you're far from healing or you're far from enlightenment. You're never far from anywhere. You're always here. <laughs> you're always here. 
because that is what you are, is here. You are here. You are here-ness. You are, in your deepest essence, this sense of being here. So being here, you can actually allow anything that comes to visit, any thought, any feeling, any sensation that comes to visit you here. You can actually allow uh, sadness. You can allow happiness. You can allow you can even allow non-acceptance. You can even allow non-allowing. You can even allow doubt. That's how vast you are. And that's why we could also say that your true nature is, is unconditional love. Because presence, awareness, is just another way of talking about unconditional love. Which is the sky of you. There's so much space in you. There's so much room. Room for every thought, every sensation, every feeling, 